Hey, so what happened was <laughs> I didn't plug a mic in, but apparently iPhone is dope. So the audio still sounds clear and I don't, I feel like I'm talking louder now that yeah, I know the mic's not, not on, on, but I feel like, ah, ah, but, uh, we're just going to keep fucking running with it. I'll splice them together and whatever. I'm, I'm, it's funny how I've been wondering. I've been sitting here thinking, I'm like, I wonder if I'm like close enough to this mic where you can hear me. It's not even plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was sitting there thinking. I was, I just looked over there at the tripod and I was like, hey, there's that plug back there. It's not plugged in anything. I was like, it's not plugged into anything. <laughs> I did not plug it in. Yes, dude. So, well, at least the audio is still there. Yeah. And it sounds, from what we listen to, it sounds, it sounds fine. Sounds fine. Good job, Apple. I trust your microphones. Does Apple That's make a like a microphone microphone? I don't think so. I mean, my, they have microphones installed in like all their devices, though. So I'm pretty sure they have to be really good at it because it's in... The AirPods, their phones, iPads. Is it in that literally pin? Literally everything. The microphone in the pin? No. Why not? <laughs> you said in everything. <laughs> well, the pin there's comes a small with the Mac. There's a small microphone in their chargers for yeah. some reason. <laughs> They're listening to us. I said that one. The, Awkward silence. Why was you that, hmm? that dude perfect. Uh, I don't know. It's one of their stereotype videos. Where he just like drops a phone in the water. He's like, they're listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I used to love watching those dude those stereotype ones. They made a Thanksgiving one and I was like, I'm going to watch it. And then I went to go do something and forgot about it. Great. <laughs> we can't talk about that now. My favorite one is the one where they did the, uh, the waiter. The waiter at the restaurant that always fills up your water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get a drink and he, that dude's like pouring the water into your drink while you're drinking it. <laughs> and then. Uh, I wish waiters were like that. And then, the, <laughs> and then the other one is the one that always comes comes back to check on you. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you good? Hey. And in yeah. that one, I like where they uh, where it's like twenty dollars for like a shrimp and a leaf, and they give it to and they give it to him, and they're and they're like, "Is that is that it?" He's like, "Yeah, that's that's what you ordered." He's like, "Isn't like a additional anything?" He's like, "No, just just that." That's like when I went the other day, okay. uh, I, I went with uh, Vincent and Kenna and Ava went to go eat at Campisi's, Campri, Campisi's, it's over on, it's on Campu, by Richard Theater, it's a little Italian spot. Found out it's pretty pricey. Wait, she just went by herself? No, Kenna and Vincent and Ava. Oh, they went, okay. And And I wasn't doing anything that day, and you're with your mom, so I was just like, well, let me go ahead and uh, go get something to eat, because I'm hungry. And I show up over there, and Kenna got like, she got like the garlic bread, the appetizer with cheese on it. Mm -hmm. And then Vincent said, he was like, oh man, I'm just going to get like the uh, the dinner salad. But he just got the salad. He didn't get like no chicken on it or nothing. And then Ava got fettuccine Alfredo from the kids thing. And I get there, I'm like, let me get some calamari, bro. Uh oh. I was like, yes. Did not look how much that was at all. Didn't just look. Saw it and was like, do you yes. have the full order or the half order? I go, what's the price difference? She goes, five dollars. I go, let's do the full. Price difference was ten dollars to fifteen dollars. So I was like, didn't think about it. Then when no one ordered food but me, like my full pasta plate, mm. and I was like, give me the Sopranos, man, with Sopranos, penne pasta. I was like, add spinach. And I thought there was like a meat already in there. No meat. No. It was just pasta with the sauce That's and disgusting. spinach. No, it was delicious. It would have been really good with some chicken in there, though. Yeah. And I'm sitting there eating, and I'm like, my bill's going to be bigger than y'all's bill. I can already tell. You got an appetizer, she got a kid's meal, and you got a salad. <laughs> Their bill came. Of course my bill was bigger. They even put my, one of my, they put my appetizer on theirs. And I was like, man, I got this wrong. So I was like, it was like forty two dollars for me to what? eat. <laughs> yeah. What appetizer did you get? I got calamari. It was like a big plate. I shared. I didn't eat all of it by myself. I didn't oh. share my pasta though. But yeah, my pasta was like seventeen or eighteen dollars, and then the calamari was oh fifteen. 
and then I got my Coke. I was like, I should have just gone to McDonald's and go back to the house. I went to Whataburger last night. I haven't had a Whataburger in a long time. You haven't had a Whataburger in a long time? I'm going to go get a Whataburger Friday when we do the show. Yes. Wait, what time is the show? Seven. I think doors are at seven. I don't know. I need to look at the tickets. What show was it that we went to? That we went to Waffle House? This is Mafia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it was a really, really long one. Yeah. We took a picture with Smooth Vega and then took forever to get out of that parking lot because I paid for parking for that one. Oh, yeah. And it took forever to get out. And then... We went to IHOP when we, after the Mavs game. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, the Mavs game. Yeah, Mavs and uh, Orlando. And it was like last year, this time, in December. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it was really cold. Um, yeah, and we sat in that parking lot <laughs> forever. It was so bad. Oh, yeah, because we were at the, like, the very top of I don't our... know why I decided to drive all, all the way. The way I, I think I wanted the picture of Dallas, like the skyline, and the picture wasn't even that good. It wasn't worth waiting all that time. I don't even remember driving in Dallas. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it took forever to get out of there. Oh, and we why. stayed for the entire game yeah, too. We didn't like leave early. And it's not like we paid for the tickets either. It's like, and there was a blowout. The mass won by like twenty or something, <laughs> and we're still there. Like, nope, we're not leaving. And that was IHOP that night. Yep. And then Two Six Mafia. That was Waffle House. I don't think we we went anywhere else. After all the other ones. Well, the also, all the other ones weren't as long. Gucci Mane, we went back to the smokestack. Oh, yeah. Because that was your mom's weekend. And then Lupe Fiasco. I think they just went back to the house after that one. Yeah, because you know, David and Naomi were still there. Oh, we yeah. got back at like, it was like 12 o'clock when we got back from that one. But that's, the one we, that's, that's how we walked. Oh, Remember yeah, we walked yeah. all the way to the water gardens? <laughs> Jesus. That, that was like terrible. Very it was super sketchy though. Yeah. Well, like the first like 10 minutes of it was. Yeah. And while we got on the tour closer to downtown, yeah. it was fine. And then what did we do after Little Palooza? Did we eat? Or we just went back to the house? That was Father's Day weekend. I don't remember what we did. I don't remember either. I think... Yeah, we went back to the house because I got the, the Planet Her thing. Oh, yeah. And then we, we went, went back we and went Naomi to, was there. What was that record store called? Record Town? Record Town, yeah. Yeah. That Record Town jump. Bought a record. They went and watched the show. We got good parking that day, too, right down that front street. Uh -huh. I want to go see a show there, but I don't know if we'll be able to go. <coughs> I don't think it's not a show you want to go to. What is it? Austin Mead, the country singer. Red Dirt. What shoes are you wearing? Uh, my Converse. <clears throat> I thought we were going to have a, a cool picture where I could put my croc up and you could put your croc up. You're not wearing crocs today. Because I was going to wear this jacket. I was like, I don't want to wear Crocs. That jacket with Crocs. My art teacher was like, I feel like your outfits are like so good. And then you just <coughs> have Crocs on. And I'm like. Have you ever worn Crocs you? before? They're so comfortable. Exactly. I still want those Post Malone Crocs. I actually want to pay $400 for them. Yeah, that's what I wish they had like a custom Croc website. That'd be cool. Where I could customize like the strap. You know, maybe they do. You just they don't. Look. I've looked. Oh, well, I haven't looked. So. Like you can, you can like. There's people that are like customize your Crocs for you. They will like paint them, and they'll add stuff. I feel like that'd be a lot more money. Like the company just did it for you though. Maybe they got spurs. You could put spurs on the back of your Crocs, That's like cool. cowboy boots. Yes. That's not cool. <laughs> That's so corny. <laughs> you got some spurs on your Crocs. Can you imagine riding a horse with Crocs on? <laughs> it'd 
would be terrible. Me. That'd be so bad. I really thought your brother would be over here by now. I heard him earlier. Well, he was probably just laughing at his. What you want to call it? I think he's playing a game or something. Probably. Oh yeah, on the game yesterday, the the top, whoever for the northeast, or no, not northeast, the north conference thing. I don't know. The called. NFC. Yeah, NFC. There was Vikings, and then we were talking about this, and then you found out that the. Oh yeah, we were. So back to the story. Whatever, San Francisco, and then us, and then. What is that team called? Tom Brady's. The Bucks? Yeah, the Buccaneers, yeah. They're not that high, are they? Yeah, that was those are the four teams. But then their division is extremely terrible. Yeah. But I was saying, I was like, we've already beat Tom Brady with a lesser team than what we have now. Yeah. And the Vikings just got almost they got what was it, forty and something to the Cowboys, which we already beat. Was that them? On Thanksgiving? Is that who the Cowboys played? No, they didn't play them on Thanksgiving. They played them, I think, before. Yeah, I don't remember a lot of the football on Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah. You don't remember the Cowboys? I don't really remember. I don't remember the Cowboys. I don't game. remember watching. I remember the, who was it, the Bills? and. That was an early game. The Bills. Yeah, that, that game was good. Was it Detroit? I don't know. Don't remember. Don't remember. Don't remember. <laughs> and then... I haven't seen San Francisco, San Francisco play. Well, their quarterback got hurt. The dude that they were... But they still have Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. And I think they were trying to trade him or something, and their quarterback got hurt, and now he's uh, just out there winning games. Mm -hmm. Like, did we, did we make the right decision thinking about getting rid of this guy? I don't know, and that's like uh, even last night when I was, when Justin Love, Justin Love is the name, right? The the oh, yeah, Packers yeah, backup, yeah. man, he marched down the field and scored a touchdown. Mm -hmm. He made it look easy, and then he marched down the field again like they were gonna score that touchdown to try to come back. He just didn't. He tried to force that touchdown that last throw, mm -hmm. and he had a he had a wide open receiver in front of that guy, yeah. but. Would that guy have scored a touchdown? Well, we'll never know now. But the guy he threw it to, he he forced that ball in there. So, the Eagles win, and that's all that matters. I should have worn my Eagles jersey for this. I should have worn mine too. I didn't think about it. Though. Severely disappointed. <laughs> we just need to start doing this more. Coffee yeah. with my kid. This is episode number one. Well, well we got the other one, but I was drinking... Cranberry juice or something. <laughs> <laughs> cranberry and tea? Yeah. Mmm. Cranberry and tea. Sounds good. Well, well just this will just be I mean it's still I mean I can't start branding a bunch of different stuff. I'm not fucking Chris D'Elia and fucking Tom Segura and all these yeah. D'Elia's got like four podcasts now that he does. The King, the Wing, and the Sting. Then he does I can't remember the name of the other one. He does Lifeline with his brother. That he does Congratulations by himself. It's like... What's the one where they watch all the fights? The Fight Companion with Brendan Schaub. So that's four. Yeah, but he has he has another one with Brendan so Schaub. Five. Yeah, he's got a lot. Like, they're... And then they just... I mean, it's basically... It's just the same group of guys, but they're teamed up differently occasionally. So, if you get... Dude, to bounce, they bounce different ideas off of each other, and they talk shit to each other differently. So, because Brendan Shaw isn't going to have the same jokes that Brian Callum would have, and all that. Oh, did you talk about um, UFC? Oh, that is this weekend. I didn't even know there was something happening this weekend. Yeah, Kevin Holland, my boy Kevin Holland is going to fight not not Dan Hooker. He already beat that dude. I think was it Dan Hooker that he beat? No, he's fighting the Wonder Boy. Uh. What the fuck is his name? <laughs> what the fuck is the Wonder Boy's real name? Thompson something, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. 
But Big Mouth's got this. Kevin Holland's gonna win this fight. Do you know him personally, or do you just really? No, he's from here. He's from oh, here. Oh, he's from. I don't know him personally, oh. no. But like, that's that's one of my favorite UFC fighters. I love how he's like he, he's fighting you and he's talking shit at the same time. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, okay, okay, all right. I, I, I mean, it just seems like a real fight that way. Yeah. Like he's commentating his own fight. Right, yes. Like the shit you say in your head. All right, motherfucker, I got this, bro. Come on, do it again. Oh, he, oh, you missed that time. Ah. Oh. Like he just seems like that. That's in his head. That's how he's talking to that guy, mm-hmm. and he's just doing it out loud. And when you can hear him in the octagon doing it, it's like, damn, that fool's just talking mad shit while he's punching a dude in the face. <laughs> but uh, very disappointing. But yeah, he that. hangs out around here. Like randomly on his Instagram, he's like, "I'm going. I'm gonna go shoe shopping. I'm gonna be at Parks Mall. Who wants to go?" I was like, "What?" And then uh, he trains uh, one of the gyms. He trains that's over by downtown, kind of back there where Defender is, and Docs on the oh, other yeah. side of the all of the uh, the all of the dealerships. What's that other uh, place called? It's over there, the military store. Omaha's. Omaha's. Omaha. Omaha. But yeah, Omaha's. That's where I got my ski masks from, for when I rob banks. Oh, my, I think my ski mask is in my room. Oh, yeah. I have it with my beanies. You got your hypnotized minds one? Yeah. It's on yeah, you take that one on Friday. Oh, yeah. Do you have yours? Yeah. It's in my uh, it's in my go bag. Ooh, also, hopefully I get my sweater from Dank by then. Hopefully. We'll see. I texted him yesterday. He was supposed to get it today, but he said they had a problem with some. I don't know. But yeah, what else were we just talking about before? Uh, oh, the USC fight, and then uh, who else was fighting? Uh, man, the dude that drinks beer out of shoes. Oh, Tai Tai Vasa. Yeah, he's fighting. I don't even know who he's fighting. I didn't even know that there was a big fight this weekend. I was yeah, well, this one, it's, it's, it's a free one. It's not a pay-per-view. Oh, really? It's free. December 3rd. I was like, yes. And then my my Czechoslovakian brother, Yuri Proheska, is injured, and he vacated his title. What is I mean, he gave it up? Or yeah. Like, he fucked his, Yeah, he fucked his shoulder up, and he said, it's not right for me to hold on to the belt because of an injury, so I'm vacating the title. So that two other people can fight for it, so there can be a true champion. And I'm like, dang, this fool is this fool is a straight gangster. He's like, he's not concerned. I'll give up my title. I don't care. I'll get it back. I mean, granted, they're gonna give him a title shot when he's healthy. Yeah. Especially that he's like, I'm not gonna hold up the division just because I'm injured. I'm like, dang. Because there's other dudes that are like, oh, I'm injured, and they'll just hold the belt, hold That's the belt funny. for nine months. A year because they're injured. Oh, I had tore my ACL. That's crazy that you can do that. I mean, yeah. I thought like and, you only had a certain amount of time. You had to choose somebody to fight. Well, that's the other thing. So like in boxing, you you do have a certain amount of time because there's so many different commissions for those belts. In the UFC, they're like a monopoly. Like you're under contract with the company. So they mm-hmm. don't force their fighters to come back from injury or to vacate a belt. Because they want to make the biggest, best fights. So, if you keep the guy with the belt, and then you got all these other guys trying to get to a title shot, then it works better. But, we'll see how that pans out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Yuri comes back stronger than ever. And uh, hopefully he doesn't bring the ponytail back. I like him with the normal haircut. <laughs> but, I do hate the fact that no one has ever said... He is the first Czechoslovakian UFC champion. And, like, when Brandon Moreno won, oh, he's the first Mexican Mexican or Mexican or champion. What about, y'all can't give Yuri no love, man? First, I mean, he's probably one of the only Czechoslovakian fighters out there. So, man, show us some love. Where is Czechoslovakia at? In Europe. Oh. Like, I don't know the demo- demographics of a map of Europe. I'm not from there. I mean, my heritage is from there. I don't, the only reason I get amped up about Czechoslovakia is because I'm part Czech. So, show Yuri some love. I'm still very disappointed, even though it happened a while ago in Adesanya. 
Oh, me and Vincent never talked about the Adesanya thing. I watched the fight. It's I like think my favorite fighter. I know, but we but we never talked about it on the podcast. I don't think we did, and if we did, I was drunk. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I kind of think that that was a a premature stoppage, the way that it happened. I think Adesanya could have gone a little bit longer. I think the result. Part of me that was like maybe he was done, and I, I think, part of me that was like I think the result would. I think, so. I think yeah. it would have been the same. I think Izzy would have lost still. I think maybe he, by decision though. Yeah. Because neither. Well. Well, I don't think he would have lost by decision. I think he was on his way to being out. Yeah. He was about to get knocked out for real. I really believe that because when I saw the way he was moving, yeah, he was bringing being elusive, but he was still getting tagged, and. But the other thing I can say for... And also, for, the ref didn't know him, like, at all. He could just be thinking, like, he's about to get knocked out. Yeah. And that's not... And he's going to protect the that. fighter. Yeah. So, the other thing I will say is everyone's like, this is his first loss. No, it's not. He lost yeah, he has to... Uh, man, what's that other dude's name? The Is he Polish? Cro not Croatian. He didn't fight Stipe. He fought the other dude at light heavyweight. Um. Oh man, Blahovich, John Blahovich, he went up to challenge him for the light heavyweight title, and Izzy lost that fight in decision. He didn't get knocked out. He lost in five rounds by decision, because it's a different beast when you're going up in weight like that. But Izzy losing at this weight class, I think, is good for him, because it means he has to step up his game. Maybe he trains different things. Maybe he mm -hmm. just trains more wrestling maybe he trains um different styles of striking rather than just the kickboxing white tie kind of thing that he does because that's the same thing the other guy came from and he's the only guy in the world to knock izzy out in that sport so hopefully it's good for him hopefully he grows as a fighter from it i'm pretty I'm, i mean izzy's not done by any means i still don't think that uh robert whitaker can beat him I don't think that uh, uh, what's the other the bald guy that I really didn't like at all. I don't know. I really the Italian was, dude. Uh, I really thought he was gonna win when they were talking about it, like before the fight happened, and how like he was like the other dude's the only other dude that's been able to knock him out, and he's like also he's been oh he hasn't fought him in a while, and he's grown as a fighter since then. Yeah, well, both of them have yeah. clearly, and the other thing is, uh, Robert Whitaker said it. He goes. He goes, I fought Izzy, and I, I see how big Izzy is. But when Izzy was in there with him, him he made Izzy look big, small. Yeah. And that's why he was like, he goes, I don't know. And Robert Whitaker said, he goes, I think I have a better chance at beating. I keep saying the other dude because I don't know that dude's name. The dude that just beat Izzy? I don't know his name either. <laughs> and I feel bad because it's like, I mean, I feel like the UFC did just go get this dude and like amp him up and rush him into a title match just because they needed someone to fight Izzy. Because, I mean, no one else, well, yeah. Uh, man, Vittori Martin Vittori that's the other the Italian dude that he fought Izzy and lost. And then he fought Paula Costa and he beat him. And he fought, I think he fought Whitaker twice and beat him twice. And they weren't even close fights. Yeah, Izzy was the champion for a reason. Like, was, he, he was solid, just just rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. It was like, oh, okay. But, I mean, I think I think it'll be good for him. He'll grow as a fighter, and he'll be ready to he'll be ready to come back and knock, knock that dude out. I really, I really think that's what's going to happen. I don't think he's going to come back trying to go for a decision and wrestle. I really think mm -hmm. he's going to come back and just put it all out there on the line. And that'd be, be like, lame. To I'd, be so, I'd be so mad if he just came back and and like, wrestled yeah. and rolled around the ground with him. That's like we're supposed to see a John Jones fight. John Jones is supposed to be coming back. We'll see how that pans out. Arguably, arguably the greatest light heavyweight of all time. I know he was on steroids. I know quotations, blah 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 blah. But John Jones beat everybody. He didn't beat. That's like when the people talk about Khabib. Khabib beat Connor. Okay, but if you go through the list of the other guys that he beat before Connor, I can't name one of them. I can't name one of those dudes. Yeah, Khabib fought a lot in the UFC. Well, he had a record coming in, and thirty and zero, never lost a fight. 
Also, I can only name three fighters that he beat. He beat Justin Poirier after Connor. He beat uh, Justin Gaethje after Connor. And then he beat the Connor. Where, um, where Connor, Connor, Connor he, yeah, jumped. Yeah. The brawl broke out. No, like he broke something. He broke no, that something. was Dustin Poirier. Oh. Like recently. Well, the most recent fight I've seen. That was Connor's last fight. Yeah, Connor yeah. has a fought since then. Now they're saying he's on steroids. He's freaking jacked. Nice. But uh, we'll see. All right, I'm out of drink. You still have a little bit of coffee left. But I think this podcast has gone long enough. And he's going to check. Go, 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 go. I like that your coffee matches your jacket. All right, talk shit in the comments because that's always my favorite. And um, we'll do this again pretty soon.